Hi everybody, it's Salt Ash Tutor, and this is a uh, question that is part of a playlist which will be going through trigonometric questions that are aimed at A or A star um, in your GCSE. So let's dive in. Firstly, in this question, there is a whole load of information relating to the diagram, and we've also told within the question specifically that they want the length BC. And also, and this is important to get because people often make the mistake, they don't look at this bit here, which is we want the answer correct to one decimal place only. OK, look at the diagram and I'm looking for any sort of uh, triangles, but there aren't any apparent straight away. But just by a bit of manipulation, if I drop this line down here, which is at 90 degrees, then I've instantly formed a right angle triangle here. I also know that because this length here is 5.8, then that must mean that this length here, between here and here, is also 5.8 as well. Now I'm after the length BC all along here, so in fact all I've left to do is get that length there. So have a look at my um, rules that are associated with um, right angle triangles. So right angle triangles, I have so car toa and i'm looking inside this triangle and for the purposes of illustrating how i'm going to approach this i'm going to label up the triangle in relation to the angle of 50 degrees at b so this would be the opposite this would be the adjacent and this would be the hypotenuse so i can see that i actually want the adjacent and i've got the hypotenuse and i've got an angle that lends itself directly to car so i'm going to put the information into this so i've got the core of 50 degrees equals the adjacent which is what i'm after divided by 4.3 so I'm going to rearrange this equation to make the adjacent the subject and I end up with 4.3 times the cos of 50 equals the adjacent. Now if I you put that into your calculator you get the answer that the adjacent is length 2, what did I work it out as? I worked it out as 2.76, 2. Point, where am I? 2.76. 39. Now you'll see that I'm using f you know, four decimal places here. I generally do that when I'm doing my questions so that if I've got any other manipulations of the numbers to do, I don't lose anything in error when I do the rounding ups at the end. And as I said earlier, down here, that's important that we get the correct one decimal place thing done. But all I need to do now is add 0.7639 plus 5.8 and that will be the length of BC and adding those together and rounding them to and correcting them to one decimal place will give me the answer of 8.6. Okay that was the first of the questions I'm going to do. Um, you can see it's taking about three and a half minutes but there's lots of explanation. Should be able to crack this question in about two minutes. Hope it's been of some help. If it has subscribed there'll be more in this playlist and more to come from Saltash Tutors. Thank you very much for your time. Subscribe if you like us. Goodbye.